Welcome back to Amashiroi Recap. Today, I will recap the Asterisk War. The story begins with a transfer student named Amajiri Ayato. On the first day of school, he finds a handkerchief belonging to a girl student. That's why he intended to return it. But instead, he saw that girl was changing clothes. Julie's thanks Ayato for returning the handkerchief, but she gets angry when Ayato sees her beautiful body. <laughs> Since Ayato managed to dodge her attack, Julie's challenged him to a duel. Julie's is ranked 5th at Seidokan Academy, so it's no wonder she has extraordinary abilities. Even so, Ayato was still able to overcome it. When Julie's launched her strongest attack, Ayato could slash the attack. <laughs> While the duel was in progress, someone wanted to kill Julie's, but Ayato managed to save her, and his hand touched something soft. Then someone stopped their duel. She is a student named Claudia who serves as student council president. Claudia took Ayato to the student council room to explain the school rules. Then Claudia explained a match between teams against other academies. The match was called a festa. Ayato was asked to participate because their school performance had started to decline. Ayato said he was not interested in that, because Ayato wanted to find his older sister named Amajiri Haruka. But Haruka's information as a student there has been erased by someone, and only the Ogre Lux weapon Sir Veresta that Haruka once used remains. Ayato was curious about the weapon and wanted to use it. After talking with Claudia, Ayato was placed in the same class as Julie's. Ayato befriends a student named Yabuki. He tells Ayato that Julie's is the princess of the European kingdom Lysultania. Not only that, but Julie's also always wins all the duels in the academy, thus making her rise to fifth rank. Then there was a ninth rank student named Lester. He always wanted to challenge Julie's, and it made Julie's annoyed with him. Ayato saw that incident, trying to calm them both down, so Lester immediately left. After discovering Julie's is the princess, Ayato asks her what her is fighting for. Julie's replied that to get the money. She would take part in the competition and win first place. However, due to her unfriendly nature, Julie's doesn't have a partner to participate in the match. Then Ayato asked Julie's to show him around the academy since he didn't know the environment of the academy yet. Feeling indebted to her, Julie's accepted the request. The next day Ayato meets his childhood friend named Sasami Asaya. During the break, Seiya wanted to take Ayato around the academy, but Julie's didn't want to leave Ayato to Seiya. In the end, they decided to go around the academy together. Julie's explained the academy facilities well. Then when Ayato went to buy a drink, suddenly someone attacked them both. <laughs> Julie's and Seiya overcame the attack but the perpetrator immediately disappeared without a trace. The next day Claudia and Ayato headed to the weapon's storage. Lester is also there and wants to try Sir Veresta's weapon. However, the match rate is only 32%. Because Lester kept trying to control it, the weapon went out of control. Ayato immediately calmed down the weapon. It was unexpected that the weapon had chosen Ayato as its master, so Ayato managed to get Sir Veresta which can cut everything. Ayato received an invitation from Claudia to come to her place. Claudia explained that the participants who were going to participate in the Phoenix Festa match had to withdraw because someone had attacked them. The case is the same as what Julie's experienced a few days ago. The disciplinary committee suspects Lester and Randy. Claudia asked Ayato always to accompany Julie's. If there was another attack by the perpetrator, Julie's might not be able to face it alone. Because Ayato accepted the request, Claudia wanted to give a gift to Ayato. <laughs> The next day Ayato and Julie's went for a walk around town. Lester and his friend suddenly came and challenged Julie's to a duel. Since they were making a fuss, Ayato immediately faced them with great courage. But his friends asked Lester not to fight in public, so they immediately left the place. After that, a group targeted Julie's, and even though many people surrounded them, Julie's could beat them alone. 
At the same time, Ayato didn't have time to avoid the attack because he was too focused on paying attention to Julius. The attack did not injure him, but his weapon was damaged, and his clothes were slightly torn. Julie's invites Ayato to stop by her place. She will sew Ayato's torn clothes and repair them. Julie's also confides in Ayato about her past. When she was child, she would often sneak out of the palace. But a group of bad people dragged her into the alley. Luckily the children from the orphanage came to help her. That's why Julie's wanted to repay their kindness by collecting lots of money so they could live in peace without any problems. The next day Julie's got a challenge letter from someone. Julie's decided to go to their place alone. Knowing that, Ayato immediately headed to Julie's place and brought Sir Veresta's weapon. When Julie's arrived somewhere, she was confronted by a student named Silas. Silas attacks Julie's and the other students to keep them from participating in the Phoenix Festa match. He did that because he was assisted by another academy called the Lincoln Academy. Not only that, but he also deceived Lester and used him to trap them both there. Silas used 128 dolls and managed to beat Lester and even corner Julie's. When Julie's was almost dead, Ayato came to save her. Ayato instantly unleashed his power. He cut down all the dolls, including the giant ones he easily destroyed. <laughs> Feeling unable to win, Silas intends to run away from there. Julie's uses her powers to allow Ayato to fly, so they defeat Silas. But suddenly, Ayato was unconscious because he had activated his power seal. It turns out that Ayato has a powerful power. That's why Haruka sealed Ayato's power when he was a child. After that, Ayato woke up in Julie's lap. Ayato explained that he could only use his power for 5 minutes. If he used his power for too long, Ayato would immediately faint. Since Julie still didn't have a partner for the Phoenix Festa match, Ayato was willing to become her partner for the match. Heard that made Julie's very happy, and their relationship had become closer. Representatives from each academy held a meeting to discuss the upcoming match. The representative of Alenkant Academy was named Sakan Shuma, and Jai Long Academy was named Fan Zinglu. Gerardworth Academy was named Ernest Fairclough, and La Wolf Black Academy was named Dirk Eberween. Sadaukan Academy was named Claudia Enfield, while one person was absent. <laughs> Apart from discussing the match, they also discussed Seidaukan Academy with Alenkant Academy, who had started working together to develop new weapons. Even though they had argued with each other, they were able to finish the meeting peacefully. On the other hand, Ayato accidentally bumped into a girl named Taudu Kirin. Because they have busyness, they do not have the opportunity to talk. After that, Ayato and Julie's prepared to participate in the Phoenix Festa. The exercise was aimed at training Ayato to be able to use his full strength for three minutes. <laughs> Claudia, with the students from Alekant Academy, came to the training ground. The mastermind of the previous incident was their doing. As compensation for the mess they've created, Claudia wants to gain their knowledge to create new weapons. The student was Ernesta with Camilla. Ernesta gave a gift to Ayato, who had succeeded in defeating all of her dolls. At the same time, Camilla wanted to fight Saya during the Phoenix Festa to prove the greatness of their weapons. When Ayato was walking around the academy, he saw Kirin being scolded by her uncle. Because his treatment was too much, Ayato decided to stop it. Ayato asks his uncle Kirin to promise not to commit violence again. He doesn't mind if Ayato can win the duel against Kirin, so they took the fight very seriously. Because it was almost five minutes of fighting, making Ayato too hasty. In the end Kirin won the duel. Ayato became exhausted after using his powers for too long. Then Julie's explained that the first rank was Kirin, and she only used an ordinary katana, but she has a powerful sword technique. While the second rank is Claudia, she has the power to see the future in a few seconds. The two of them were people Julie's and Ayato couldn't beat. Therefore they have to train again to become stronger. But before that, Ayato had to get a new badge. Ayato immediately went to see Claudia, who was relaxing in the pool. 
ところでこれどこから取り出したんだい<笑>秘密です Kirin waits for Ayato to return to his dormitory. She wants to thank Ayato for defending her from her uncle. The two of them look so familiar, especially when talking about swordsmanship. Since Kirin always trains alone, Ayato offers her to join the morning training together. However, they were attacked by a group of beasts, and even though Ayato had cut them, they could regenerate quickly. <laughs> Kirin manages to defeat it by destroying its core, but the place suddenly collapses and they fall into a waterway. They are dealing with a dragon that can regenerate. Ayato released his sealed power, and his sword became bigger. Ayato manages to defeat the dragon, but his power seal activates immediately and knocks him unconscious. After waking up, Ayato and Kirin dried their clothes and could only wait for the rescue team to help them. Ayato tells Kirin about his sealed power, which keeps him only fighting for five minutes. Then Kirin explained the reason why she went with her uncle. It was to save her father. Her father is considered a criminal because he killed a robber even though it was in self-defense to save Kirin. However, the police brand Kirin's father as a criminal and are imprisoned. Ayato says he will help Kirin and advises her not to obey her uncle's cruel orders anymore. Hearing that made Kirin more confident and want to be free and can do whatever she wanted. For starters, Kirin challenges Ayato to a duel. The battle began. Ayato used ordinary weapons against Kirin and even took turns using many weapons. <laughs> In the end, Kirin is defeated by Ayato, and Kirin wants to join in on training with Ayato and the others to participate in the Phoenix Festa competition. A few days later, Kirin and Seiya train together to participate in the Phoenix Festa match. Although their abilities are good, their cooperation as a team still has many shortcomings. Therefore Seiya invites Kirin to tour the city together to strengthen their bond. Seiya wanted to buy something for her father's birthday. He is a scientist who is crazy about guns. Therefore the two of them went to the black market to get rare illegal weapons. Seiya hopes these rare objects can help her father develop new weapons. Meanwhile, Kirin asked Seiya to teach her how to swim. While swimming, Kirin accidentally bumped into a student from another school. Kirin already apologized to her, but since that student won't forgive her, Seiya wants to teach her a lesson. So Seiya dueled with the girl, but Seiya easily beat her. After a day together, they started to understand each other, and their friendship became closer. So they trust each other, and cooperation in battle is getting better. On the other hand, at the Le Wolf Black Institute Academy, Dirk Eberween orders someone to take part in the Phoenix Festa match to kill Ayato during the match. The female student was named Irene Erzes. A few days later, Phoenix Festa is about to start, and the Festa Management Committee chairman named Medayath Mesa. He asked the disciples to fight with all their might, and use the most powerful weapons to win the match. The Phoenix Festa matches will last two weeks, and the first match will be Ayato alongside Julie's against Gerardworth Academy. Naturally, their appearance caused an uproar in the audience, because Ayato was ranked first in the academy, and Julie's was ranked fifth, as well as a princess. When the match started, the opposing team attacked from close range. Ayato released his powers and managed to defeat them. <coughs> In the next match, Alenkant Academy does not send human representatives but uses new combat robots with artificial intelligence. The robots are named Artie and Rimsey. At the same time, the robot's owner is Ernesto with Camilla. When the match started, Artie arrogantly gave his opponent time to attack and would not fight back for a minute. When his opponent attacks, Artie can create a powerful shield that they cannot destroy with normal attacks. Ultimately, the opponent ran out of time, and Artie defeated them with one hit. After watching the match, Ayato and the others admit that the robot is powerful. 
Saya got a call from her father. He sent a new weapon for Saya to use against Artie with Rimsey. After that, there was a commotion in the city. It turned out that Irene was fighting with a group of people. Even she wanted to fight with Ayato, who happened to be there. But when her younger sister named Priscilla came, Irene immediately became calmer and obeyed Priscilla's words. After apologizing, they immediately left from there. On the other hand, Kirin's match with Saya begins, and they immediately face their enemies at close range. Kirin can defeat her enemy in a short time. While Saya takes a little time to fill up the energy in her weapon. After collecting her weapon energy, she immediately deploys a deadly attack. So Saya and Kirin won the match. The next match was Ayato's turn with Julie's. Julie's fought her enemies alone and managed to defeat them. On the other hand, Irene is a team with her sister. Irene uses a weapon that allows her to control gravity. She can immobilize her opponent to unconsciousness. But she needs blood to use the power. Because Priscilla can regenerate so, Irene can continue to suck her blood. When Ayato was alone with Claudia, Claudia wanted to give a special gift to Ayato. But suddenly, there was a call from Kirin, who said that Seiya had lost one's way. Ayato immediately went to look for her. Then when Ayato was in an alley, he met Priscilla, chased by many people. Ayato had no other choice but to save her. At the same time, Irene came to the two of them. She was angry because she thought that Ayato had done something to Priscilla. After learning that Ayato had saved Priscilla, Irene promised not to be rude to Ayato again. But they will face each other in the final match. Before that, Irene invited Ayato to eat together at her house. Irene also explained the reason and goal for her fight. Because she borrowed a massive amount of money, she had to pay it off by carrying out various orders. One of the orders given was to destroy Ayato. She leaked the information out of gratitude for Ayato saving her sister. At night, Ayato came to Claudia's place, but Claudia suddenly attacked Ayato. Fortunately, Ayato managed to wake her. Claudia explains that the weapon's side effects make the user repeatedly dream about death. But instead, Claudia can see the future. According to Claudia, a weapon with a personality can affect its user. That's why Irene looks like a different person when using her weapon. After knowing this, Ayato became even more careful when dealing with Irene in the final match. Bloxy's final match begins. Ayato immediately faces her from close range while Julie's deploys fire attacks while keeping her distance. <laughs> Ayato's sword skills are superior to his opponent, but Irene can manipulate gravity and is very dangerous if Ayato is hit by her attack. They had a hard time fighting Arena. Even Irene was able to fill her strength by sucking Priscilla's blood. Irene launched an overwhelming number of attacks on Ayato, but Ayato managed to fend off all of the attacks. When Julius exerts her strongest attack, Irene uses all the strength of her weapon to protect herself. Even though it could keep him going but relying on that excessive strength affected his consciousness. Irene forcefully sucked Priscilla's blood and recovered all her strength. Since Irene was completely controlled by her weapon, the only way Ayato could do it was to destroy the weapon with all his might. Ayato and Julie's managed to become victorious, but because Ayato used his strength for too long, his power seal became active and tormented his own body. In the end, people realized Ayato's weakness. They assumed that Ayato could only fight for five minutes. That would make it difficult for Ayato to fight against the other participants. That's why Ayato wanted to find a way to remove the seal to win the Phoenix Festa. And that is the end of the video. Remember to subscribe and like this video, so see you in the next video.